Hey, what's up guys? It's Vanessa from The Life of Avax, and today I'm gonna to give you a quick tutorial on how to create a doodle animation using Adobe After Effects. So a few months ago, we worked with Disney on a project and we created this video for them that had a bunch of doodle animation all over it. So here's the example of what we're going to be working on today. So real quick before we begin the tutorial, I'm just going to explain for those that aren't familiar with videography, when you are filming a video, you're doing it using a specific frame rate. And there's different ones that you can use, whether you're trying to achieve slow motion or just a regular kind of video. And for this video, we're using 24 frames per second. And what that means is that there are 24 frames, individual frames per every second. So when you're doing a doodle animation, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be editing a separate doodle on every single frame. And so I'm just going to warn you guys, doodle animation, although it is pretty easy once you get the hang of it, it is very tedious and very time consuming because you are working with tons of frames, especially if your video is more on the long side. But it's really fun and I'm gonna show you guys how it's done today. So when you first open up After Effects, this is what it's going to look like. And you're going to first click on File and then Import. And it's going to prompt you to this window where you just pretty much have to look for your video that you're going to be animating. So the one I'm going to animate is this one here. And then I'm just going to click Open. And it's going to bring me my video to this little area here. And then all I'm going to do is click it and drag it down and so now i have my video here let's go ahead and jump into it the first thing i'm going to do before i start animating is i'm going to make sure that i have everything i need on my right hand side and all i'm going to do is go over to window up here and then i'm going to click on paint and that opens my paint box down here Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on brushes. So now, and now I have my tool, my tools here that I'm gonna be using to animate. And yeah, that's kind of like where I like to have them. Um, so now I have my tools here ready to go. And I'm going to click on the brush tool on the top left corner up here. And now that allows me to click on these different um, settings here that you can play with for your brush sizes you can do the soft round they also have like a few other ones down here but I probably won't use any of those I'm just going to stick to my hard round and the other thing that I will say to do is work on single frame so right here on duration if you leave it like on constant for example what's gonna happen is you're going to um, do a brush and then that brush stroke will stay on every single frame and well, you don't want that because you want the animation to move. So just make sure you go down to single frame. You can pick whatever color you want right here. I'm just going to stick to this yellow. And I'm on my hard round brush. And yeah, okay, so let's get started. So the next thing you're going to do is double click on it and that'll open up this layer here and now you can start animating so if I'm over here then I can't I can't draw anything but if I'm on this one well now I can draw so if you open up left hand side if you go down here and you open up this uh, drop down menu here and then you go to effects and then you go to paint, that's what we're gonna be working on. Essentially what you're doing is you're painting on each frame. Okay, so now we're ready to paint. First thing I'm gonna do is begin drawing this cloud. So if I were to think of this in like an animated way, a cloud would come in from here and it would just pretty much just 
move all across the frame till it disappears over here. So that's what I'm going to try to animate. So you have to kind of think ahead and just kind of envision what it is that you're trying to create. I'm going to draw this little cloud here. And now that it's there, I'm going to click Command and then your right arrow key. And now that moves me to my next frame. You can also do it by hand like manually, but I like using shortcut um, keys. Now, another thing that you have to keep in mind when doing this is if you just start drawing like random stuff like this, what, what's going to happen is you're going to get really big jumps and then it's going to make your doodle animation look really just all over the place, very shaky, very just jittery. And what you're trying to aim for is more of like an actual like cartoon, like where it's just like smooth and it all flows. Just keep that in mind. So some tricks that I learned, number one, to work with every other frame versus every frame. And it also cuts down on your your workload too, because instead of drawing 24 doodles, I'm just doing half of that. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. The other thing that I'm going to kind of give you like a tip on is this. So I have my cloud here and I know that the next one that I'm going to draw in should be slightly moved over. So what I do is I click command D and that duplicates my layer. And then what I'm going to do is move it over. And again, this is what I was saying where I'm working on every other layer. So I'm going to use the same exact doodle here for two frames. Then I'm going to click command D again, and I'm going to move it over again to the next frame rate. And this is where I need to animate it differently. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as my kind of like guide as to how far and how much I need to move my animation. So I'm going to scroll over to the beginning of this one. I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to kind of follow the same pattern that I have here, but more spread out. So I'm going to go like this. And so it kind of looks like the previous one. And then you just like, once you click, it, you see what happened. I erased this one and I replaced it with this one, this new one. So it's going to be a lot more smooth of movement because it looks like almost the same cloud that I had before, but it's just slightly moved over, slightly bigger, and it'll just help your animation, like I said, look a lot more smooth at the end. So I'm just going to repeat that process. So again, I'm going to work with every other layer. So I'm going to duplicate this one. Command D and then I'm going to move it over to the next frame. Okay. And then I'm going to repeat that one more time, move it over. And now I'm ready to animate this next one. So this time I'm going to start here and I'm just going to do the same thing. Maybe I'll add in like an extra little curve there. And then I'm going to just repeat that process. So bear with me. Okay, so I'm nowhere near done but I'm just gonna show you this little toggle here of what it's starting to look like. So as you can see, the cloud starts here and it starts to come in slowly. And you see how smooth that is. So I'm going to show you real quick what I mean by the difference between using this technique here and just kind of doing it free-handed um, frame by frame. So I'm going to start by drawing this cloud here and I'm going to do the same kind of thing, but I'm going to go frame by frame and I'm not going to duplicate my layer. So let's move over to the next one. Okay. And then I'm going to just kind of Oh, 
Okay, so probably just do like a few more real quick. Okay. So you can see already what I mean by where like the cloud is moving so much. And although right now it might not seem like that big of a deal, when you are playing this in real time, it's literally just going to like, it's going to look like almost like flashing like this. And it just doesn't, it just, it looks really, really crazy. And I feel like it kind of takes away from the animation because it's just moving so much. It just becomes very distracting versus something that's more fluid like this one here. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how you can go back and re-edit some of these if like let's just say you want to change the color of the cloud for whatever reason um yeah so let's just say i want to go back and i want to edit this cloud here so i just move my little scrub here and i'm going to click on it and you'll see this little gray outline pop up on your cloud and then that's going to highlight which brush stroke you're on so on the left hand side here, you can see you are on brush 11 because that's what's highlighted. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it with the drop down menu. And then I'm going to go to stroke options. And this pretty much allows you to change anything about your, your doodle for that frame. So let's just say I want to change the color. I want to change it to a blue. Well, there you go. Now I want to, um, let's just say, increase my diameter. And I want it to be really thick like this. And then I also want maybe my opacity to come down. And so now I'm, I'm pretty much changing my brush stroke. And then if you want to just click out of it, just so you can see what it looks like, you can just cl click on your move button here and click on your screen and you can see what it looks like. Another technique I'm going to show you on how I did the kind of like this glow effect on Alexander. There's like this scene where he has like these swirls uh, going around his body and I'm going to show you how I did that. And I'm going to use my regular 13 brush that I was using before and I'm going to draw this swirl around him and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for it just by scrubbing there it is okay and it's right here all right so what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to duplicate it first with command D and now I have my duplicated layer there and then I'm going to open the top one and I'm going to increase the diameter first to like significantly bigger like that. I'm going to lower my hardness to zero. And then I'm going to lower the opacity to maybe like a 70 should be good. You can see how it has like this glow around it, but you can still see the sharpness of this. Yeah, that's pretty much how I did it again like how I did the the cloud here you're just going to continue on drawing frame by frame and until it goes all the way to the end and then you just start to add more animations or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve in this that's how it is done so just remember to work frame by frame be patient if you want to use the technique that I use I think it's really really helpful it made all the difference in the way our uh, animation came out. So I would highly recommend it. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new. Please feel free to ask any questions and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye guys.